Hello, people of the internet. This is Joe from the Wind, bringing you a Call of Duty commentary. Hopefully, you guys all are already aware that today marks the 11-year anniversary of the attacks on 9/11. But in this video, I'm not going to be all preachy. I'm not going to talk about how um, about the incident itself, about all the details and stuff, because personally, I don't think that I'm qualified. To do that, I'm probably not the best speaker, not the best storyteller. I feel like if I said something that might offend somebody, it might turn bad. And just personally, I feel like I might say something that's a little off, and then I'll just get a bunch of haters in the comments, which is what normally happens. But I just want to talk about a little personal experience and another extra little bonus that I'd like to talk about that I really hope that you guys check out as well. So basically, the only thing I'm really going to talk about for 9-11 is going to be what my memory of it was and I was only in kindergarten five years old which a lot of you guys 12 years old probably um, a lot of my 12 year old subs you guys were like one year old then so you guys have no idea what was happening at that time and you only have um, being told about the story that that's the only way you know about what happened but basically um, all that I remember in kindergarten which it kind of makes sense with how it's kind of similar to that of how news stations only broadcast and only talk about the negative things, bad things, bad stories. I mean, there are some positive stories, but they mostly just tell people the negative things because that's what people are really interested in. And it's funny because the only, I, if I think about when I was in kindergarten, <clears throat> there are about three things that strike my mind that I actually remember. Visually, I remember, and uh I actually remember that experience. One being 9/11. The other thing, another thing being when a kid fell over and like cracked his head open basically, and it's, there's blood everywhere. I'm like, oh my god! I was right next to him, so I remember that actually quite vividly. But um, and then one other time when a girl freaking pissed herself in a chair, and that was kind of funny and kind of disgusting at the same time. So that's why I remember that. So that's a bad thing. But it's kind of funny how that worked out, and uh, out of all my memories, I do remember slightly from what I what happened in 9-11. So basically, it was just a normal day. I was just like a little kindergartner. I had afternoon school, so basically I was still at home when it actually happened. So I was just chilling around. I was just running, being my usual naggardly self. Um, and then I go in my mom's room, and I see her crying and watching the television. I'm like... Mommy, what's up? Or something. I don't know what I said. I just remember I saw her crying into the TV, and then I saw, like, the buildings on fire and stuff. I'm just like, I, I think that I thought that it was just, like, a movie or something. So I was like, why do you care so much, Mommy? It doesn't matter. And then I just, like, ran off or something. And I didn't really think about it then, and I don't really remember what I thought about it after then. I probably didn't realize what actually happened until my dad came home. But what my mom was probably crying about and everything was because that my dad was flying he's a pilot so he was flying from New York to here I believe I believe but then luckily he was fine he landed probably in Pennsylvania or something I don't know but I really don't know that much about it and that's just basically my story of what I remember I really don't remember much you guys are probably all disappointed but the main thing I want you guys to uh, get out of this is just Remember this, and if you can, go watch this music video. It's a song by Yellow Card. It's a song called Believe. When I was first getting into Yellow Card, I liked the song, and I was like, it's an anti-suicidal song. I didn't know what the frick it meant. And then once I thought about it for a bit by George Bush in the background at the end of the song, I was like, oh, my God, it's about 9-11. And it completely changed my opinion on the song. I loved it so much more. It's a really powerful music video, and it's a really good song overall. Um, so... It's about firefighters who died, basic, basically mostly firefighters who died um, on 9-11. So, thank you guys for watching this video, and uh, I want to thank you guys for respecting this enough, and also just going and checking out that video, guys. America. One more thing i like to add to this, and it goes to all my Canadian subscribers out there. <clears throat> Great time, you gay. You guys should care too, because the only reason why you guys aren't America, you guys are basically part of the United States. You guys are basically American, it's just, we don't want you. The only reason why you're not part of the United States is because we can't fit 63 stars on the flag. 
Let's be honest, guys. Come on. You guys are basically American, so you guys should care too, for sure. And, I mean, let's be honest, 95% of your population lives 50 miles away from the freaking border. Come on, guys. Just like to add that great time again. You should care too. Bye.